My dear friends, in the early stages of this nightmare in my country, Belize, the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Dean Barrow, invited the leader of the opposition, the Honourable John Brisenio, to jointly chair with him the country's National Oversight Committee in this fight against the novel coronavirus. As with all human endeavours, the work of that committee has not been all kumbaya, but the work of that committee and from them, every public sector employee in health, security, human services, and beyond. In fact, the work of every conscientious citizen in my country has resulted in Belize being one of the only countries to be COVID-free in this first wave on the American continent. Now, this is not a victory lap. Our health authorities are quick to caution of inevitable and additional waves of infection. My country's economy has been devastated. Years of work to class into a higher standard of living appear now on the edge of a precipice. So no, this is no victory now. To the contrary, it is a further call to arms around the rallying cry, we are in this together. The biblical term to be your brother's keeper has never resounded with such deadly realism. In the face of this unforeseen and inevitable foe, the divisions that plague humanity, whether political, religious, racial, or wealth-centered, are parasitical. My dear friends, as family members, as fellow employees, as citizens of our countries and indeed of this world, let us be your brother's keeper. Let us never forget, we are in this together, and together, we shall emerge stronger. I thank you.